Let's consider this question of the 2006. Question number 11 it says that a trader bought M oranges for 48,000. She found that 40 of them were rotten. She then sold all the remaining oranges. The selling price of one orange was 100 CDs more than the cost price. So if the cost price is, let's say, X, and that we are being told that the selling price of one orange was 100 CDs more than the cost price, it means that the selling price of one will be what? X plus 100, because it is more. Okay, let me continue. The first question says, find in terms of M, the cost price of one orange. Now we are being told a trader bought M oranges for 48 cities. So clearly, now we've been given that is number of oranges. Oranges, number of oranges bought. That is M. Now, we've also been given total cost price. Total cost price was, that is, 40, that is 48,000. The question says that I, we should find the cost price of one orange. So A, I, that is cost price of one orange. Now, we know the number of oranges that were bought, which is M. The total cost price was 48,000. So if I want the unit cost of one, it becomes what? The 48,000 divided by the number of oranges bought. So clearly, my, the cost price for one will be 48,000 divided by M. This is the cost price of one orange. The total cost price was 48,000. Number of oranges bought was M. So the unit price becomes 48,000 divided by M. Let's see the second question. It says that the number of oranges that she sold. Now, the second one. We're given number of oranges that were rotten. And it's what? 40. Now, the number of oranges bought was M. So, number of oranges sold. Number of oranges sold. Now, the total is M. 40 were rotten, and then it says that, and the remaining was sold. Therefore, the number of oranges sold will be RM minus the number that were rotten. The total number was M. 40 were rotten, so the ones that were sold will be what? M minus 40. That is our second question. Now let's see the third question. What is the third question? The third question is saying that the selling price of one orange. The selling price of one orange. Now we are being told that the selling price of one orange was 100 cities more than the cost price. So we've been given selling price of one orange is 100 cities more, more than the cost price. Therefore, our selling price of one orange What is the cost price? It says that 100 cities more than the cost price of one orange. Now the cost price of one orange is 48,000 over M. And then it says that it is what, 100 cities more. So because it's 100 cities more, it is going to be 100 plus the unit cost, which is 48,000 all over M, all over M. Now let's see the fourth the AIV says that an expression for the total sum that she received from the seal. Now, the total sum that she received from the seal, it is going to be the number of oranges that were sold times the unit selling price. Because I want to find an expression for the total sum. 
So total sum that she received. This will be equal to number of oranges sold times the unit selling price. And what is the number of oranges sold? Number of oranges sold is M minus 40. Now, what is the unit price? The unit price is 100 CDs plus 48,000 all over M. This is so, this will be an expression for the total sum, which is the number of oranges sold times the unit price. The number of oranges sold is M minus 40, and then the unit price is 100 plus the unit was which is 48,000 all over M. Now let's see the B. The B says that if she made a profit of 12,000 CDs from the sales, we should find the number of oranges she originally bought. Now, what do we know? So in this case, we have been given um, profit. Now, what is profit? Profit is selling price minus the cost price. So we know profit. equal to the selling price minus the cost price. Now, what is our profit in this sense? Our profit was 12,000. Now, what is our selling price? What is our selling price? Our selling price would be the total sum that she received. So that will be M minus 40, 100 plus 48, thousand all over M minus the cost price. Now what is the cost price? The cost price is forty eight thousand. So it's given to us in the question. So from here we have to expand this. So this is M multiplied by the hundred plus forty eight thousand all over M minus forty. That is hundred plus forty eight thousand all over M minus 48,000. So this is 12,000. Now expanding, M times 100, that is 100 M. Now M times 48,000 all over M. So this M will cancel M. So we have 48,000 minus 40 times 100. That will be 4,000. You add the two zeros to it. Now minus. Now what is 4 times 40? That is 192. So 192. But then how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4. So make sure that you add the 4 zeros all over M minus 48,000. Clearly, what can we see? We can see 48,000 here. You can also see 48,000 there. But this positive, this negative. So it will, it will cancel out. We have 12,000 here. Now, what do you have? We have minus 4,000. Let's bring the minus 4,000 to this side. So that would be 12,000 plus 4,000. It will be equal to 100M minus 192. Now, this would be four zeros. One, two, three. So it will be four zeros. Four zeros all over M. Now, 2 plus 4, that is 6. So we are going to get 1, 6, 3 zeros equal to 100 m minus 1920000 all over m from here what is the lcm the lcm is m so I'll multiply each term by m so i have m times 16000 equal to m times 100 m minus m times 19240s all over m well, this M is cancelling out that M. So you have 16,000 M equal to 100 M square minus 1, 9, 2, how many zeros? 4 zeros. Clearly, we are getting a quadratic equation. 
So let's put it in the form ax squared plus bx plus equal to zero. So we have 100 m squared minus 16,000 m minus one nine two four zeros equal to zero. Clearly, we can divide through by 100. So these two zeros, we cancel two zeros here. We also cancel two zeros over there. So that will give us m squared minus 1, 6. We'll cancel two zeros. We have 160m minus, we'll cancel two zeros. We have 192, and then bring two zeros equal to zero. Now, this is a quadratic equation. And how do we simplify a quadratic equation? We can use the almighty formula. We know that it is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Clearly from here, we know that if we want to find the m, m is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now comparing this to that, what is our a? Our a is 1. Our b is negative 160. And then our c is negative 192.00. We want to find the value of m. So we have to substitute. So our m will be equal to negative. And then we have negative 160 plus or minus square root of b square. That is negative 160 square minus 4ac. What is a? 1. What is c? Negative 192.00 all over 2a, 2 times 1. Now, note that this negative will cancel this negative, making it what? Positive. So from here, we can punch the square root, whatever that is inside, in a calculator. OK, now negative and negative, that word positive. And then I'll punch everything here, the inside one, the, what is inside the, um, that is the square root in the calculator. So clearly. I'll be having my m to be equal to 160 plus or minus square root. And when you compute what is inside the square root, you'll be getting that is 10, 2, 4, 2, zeros, all over 2. And this is 160 plus or minus, that is 320, all over 2. So we have. 160 plus 320 all over 2, or 160 minus 320 all over 2. Now, this would give us, that is 480 all over 2, or this is giving us negative 160 all over 2. So we have our M to be 240 or negative 80. Therefore, our m is equal to 240. Why? The m is the number of oranges. And here, the number of oranges can never be what? Negative. So clearly, our number of oranges is m. Let's see the question next. It says that if she made a profit of 12,000 from the sales, find the number of oranges she originally bought. So you can say that she originally bought 240 oranges. That is BI. That's the BI. Now the BII. BII. We have been told the cost price for an orange. The cost price for an orange. Clearly, we know that the cost price, cost price for an orange was 48 thousand all over that is um, m clearly this is equal to we are 48 thousand we had our m to be 240 and clearly this will go into this that is two times so we have 200 cities so the cost price for one orange is 200 Series. Now this is a very nice question. You can pause the video after it. You can play back for better understanding.